Greetings, my brothers and sisters out there. I hope you are remaining strong. Remnant, you know I'm talking to you. Remnant, get ready to go. We are heading for trouble. The body of Christ is in trouble. The word of God says, my people are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge. The word of God says, who is as blind as my servants? Who are the servants of the Lord? The shepherds, the bishops, the pastors. I am concerned because a sister came at my house yesterday and she said to me, that the head of the New Testament organization has sent out a release, a letter, advising all members to take the devil's poison. When I heard, I, 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 I struggled to believe. She says that they even are using, they use scriptures in the letter. To support that this poison, the devil's poison is okay, it's okay, it's all right to take. On TVJ News the other night, an Adventist pastor says that he's taking the devil's poison because, you know, as long as it's, it's about saving lives. And that ring a bell for me. The word of God says in St. Matthew, whosoever that seek to save his life will lose it. And those who will lose his life, for Jesus' sake, will find it. And the body of Christ is struggling because after years of the prosperity gospel, many are not willing to give up the luxury and the pleasures of this life. And so the system that is present at this time is not for us. We are in the season of the beast. We are in the season of the antichrist is here is just not yet revealed and so our, our world leaders are all representing speaking on behalf of the antichrist carrying out orders on behalf of the antichrist and so my brothers and sisters in romans 12 the word of god says i beseech thee virgin therefore by the mercies of the lord jesus that you present your body as a living sacrifice. Remnant, it goes further. It says that we must not be conformed to this world, but we must be transformed by the renewing of our minds. If ever a time that we really take note of this particular passage in the word is no. The world that we are in at this time is taking a different shape. This world, remember that we are not, we are not living in, 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 in previous times. We are in the new normal. You understand? What is a new normal? The new take away the, the, the normal and put order. We are in the new order. It's not for us. And so we cannot afford to conform to this present system. But we must be willing and ready remnant. To be transformed. By the renewing. Of our minds. It begins here. And so if we don't make it up in our minds. That I will not. Give in to the agenda of the evil one. If we don't make it up in our minds. That comes what may. Like the three Hebrew boys. We're not going to bow to this system. If we're not going to make it up in our minds like Daniel, that comes what may, we will not displease God. Then we're all going to sell out our birthrights. Like what Esau did when he sell his birthright for something to eat. No wonder the Lord says in his word, Esau I eat. But Jacob I love because Esau sell his birthright for food. Believers, remnant, there is a word that is in the passage of St. Matthew 7, 
from 22 down. Where Jesus says, on that day, many are going to come to me. And said, Lord, haven't I prophesied? Lord, haven't I cast out demons? Lord, haven't I do all the wonderful works in your name? But Jesus is going to respond by saying, depart from me. I know you're not workers of iniquity. This is a revelation for me. I've struggled with this scripture for years. But no, I can understand why many are going to do great and mighty things in the name of Jesus. But eventually they're going to be a stranger unto God. Because the day you take the devil's poison is the day that you will not be his. The day you accept the devil's DNA, you allow the devil's poison to alter your DNA as a child of God, you will be none of his. And so what I'm seeing remnant coming forward is that church will be, will be going on as usual. But many pastors will become strange to God. Many bishops, many worshippers will become strange to God. Because many are willing to sell out to continue in this system. We are living in perilous times, my brothers and sisters. Remnant, these are the days where you seek God for yourself. These are the days where you work out your own salvation with fear and trembling before God. These are the days we remember what the word of God says. Take heed. Let no man deceive you. Hear what the Lord has to say to many. Many. Look at that word. Jesus says on that day many are going to come. Bless the name of Jesus. Many are going to come. But he's going to say depart from me. I know you not. Workers of iniquity. To know that a barted baby fetus is in this devil's poison. To know that small nano particles are in this devil's poison. That is going to genetically modify your DNA. The word of God says that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. How can I truly be a child of God and knowingly know what is in this poison? Knowingly that aborted fetus, murder, this is an abomination unto God. Murdering babies, thousands upon thousands of babies and using this to create this poison. And to know that I would allow someone to take it in my body and expect to still be in right standing with God. These are the days, remnant, if you're going to look at those who are in the jackets and ties, those who are in the long gowns for direction, you're going to be in trouble. Remember what the word of God says, try the spirit. Try the spirit. I'm not going to say all the churches are going to become a, a, um, um, a victim to this deception. I'm not going to say all pastors and church leaders are going to fall for this deception. And that is why I'm warning you remnant. Try the spirit. And work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because things are happening fast. And the more... I am looking into what is happening is the more I can understand Revelation 20. When the Antichrist and the false prophet will be cast into the lake of fire for deceiving the entire world into taking the mark. Many people are looking, believing that you're going to exactly know what it is. Remember what the word of God says. 
the world is going to be deceived into taking it. And it is coming through the form of pharmacy. It is coming through the form of medicine. Great deception, my brothers and sisters. Take heed. Let no man deceive you. Let us trust the Lord, remnant, that he will order our steps in these times. And only those who will be strong in the Lord and in his power, in the power of his might, will resist this image that is set up. I trust God that we all will stand and be counted in these times. God bless you.